Welcome to Let's Talk About Health, an informational podcast that gives you insights on health and fitness from experts themselves that you can apply directly to your own personal health and fitness stories. Come join me today to hear all about what they have to say on health and fitness. Still not? Yeah, it's better. Now I can hear you. Better? Okay. So How are you, sir? I'm good. Good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's been a long, long time. Pretty long. Yeah, I think so. It's after college. Uh, today's the day when we are speaking. Three, four, three or four years. Yep. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So much has happened in the past three, four years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, was... I think D.Y. D.Y. must be proud of two G.S. speaking to each other now after so long. Wait a second, you were the G.S. too? Three years, yeah. Okay, oh. So you did your bachelor's in D.Y. too? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I did not know you were the G.S. Okay, now I feel more happy. I was excited about this any which ways. I was telling all my friends that I'm going to interview my senior and I'm so excited. And just for that, I even wore mm-hmm. pink just to represent Pink Panthers. Wow. <laughs> then, then I have to add Abhishek to this live, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, many, many of the Pink Panthers would definitely join soon, I guess. Oh, that's- so they would be happy to see you that way. Yes. That's good. I'm I'm happy that we get a platform where we can share mm-hmm. about the thing that we both love. Yeah. And we're practicing today and we're able mm-hmm. to help people in yeah. a way that I never thought existed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yes. No. Sir, can you tell me more about what sports physical therapy is and how how did you think about sports physical therapy? I think so. So it comes from a solid background of sports itself. Like I always used to love playing sports. Might might as be football, might as be badminton, might as be any other sport, cricket or any any other sport in India. So uh, to be a sports physio, I think the first stepping stone would be you should like a sport and you should understand the sport. My journey started in sports physiotherapy right after my 10th when I was into a little more into sports and I started understanding what is sports and how to help them out. And then there came a cricket match where a physio just came over to the ground and then he was like an athlete getting injured, him picking him up, helping him out and then taking him out and then we started to understand okay there's something known as sports physiotherapy but Mm -hmm. at the time when i joined dy patel in my bachelor's i think so it was hardly a batch of 30 people which yeah there were reality in physiotherapy like 30 people was the batch and now if i could see the there is the scope of physiotherapy has increased so much that 100 people are joined yes so it's more it's more yeah so i would say that now the scope has definitely come up but during our time it was just a very initial stage where the orthopedic also weren't that much uh, I would say into the field of sports physiotherapy right. they always had a thing that it is only the orthopedic surgeon who could just do a rehab by themselves giving a little program I wouldn't say that the all orthopedic surgeons would be in that per se but yeah there were a lot of them who would do their own rehab programs and give it to the physio to just follow them. But later on, as it flourished more and more and more, uh, I would say at that period of time, there was a physio named Patrick Farrar, mm-hmm. who was an India team physio. And because of him, I could genuinely see that he, yeah, there is a big scope of physiotherapy. Mm-hmm. And later on, and obviously, there were a lot of physios. Nitin Patel came over, then Ashish Kaushik, then many other physios whom I, I, I am still, uh, my mentors are Weber Daga and all that. So, all of these physios came into the game. But initially, I think so, the first stepping stone into sports physiotherapy is that you should know a sport and you should like a sport. Okay. Even if it's not, even if you're not practicing it, 
even if you are not practicing it still i would say you should know a sport everyone should know something or the other so the sport which we have we right now have i think uh, arjun has joined who is right now at the nationals he's playing the nationals arjun all the best for the game he's a pro kabaddi player and he is he's playing the nationals now so yeah the asian asian games he's into the asian yeah. games now he's watching us live yeah. from there so so yes i feel every every uh, person in india should should at least uh, i wouldn't consider everyone should play a sport but they should be healthy enough right the factor of being healthy is one of the factor of me getting into sports industry right what according to you would would be health and fitness how would you define yeah. health and fitness it's a good question because health and fitness is is as it is if i consider that it's one of the way to keep your body mobile is what i would say mobility of your body strength of your body is what a uh, health and fitness should be it's not only that ki you are doing gym workouts i i don't consider all gym workouts and all just fitness workouts to be into the health industry there are many which help you with muscle growth there are many which help you with improving your tone of the muscle and there are a lot which improve with just the mobility of your body mm-hmm. so for a normal individual who has just come into uh, being healthy they can just go out for a run every day they can just take a walk and just do basic exercises so that for, for me would be in the pursuit of health and not exactly gymming mm-hmm. as i would, would describe it so the fun- so always yeah. follow yeah. fitness always exactly. try to stay fit even if you're not yeah. playing sport not doing gym not doing exactly. weights just exactly work there's i i interviewed two people from uh, who are exercise therapists and uh, athletic trainers very mm-hmm. recently and they are telling me about the new researches that they're studying and it's called movement therapy yeah a person should just move you're just supposed to move and it be it any age group yeah a kid should move older everyone should just move is yeah. that also the principle that you follow for your fitness and for your health exactly. routine exactly that's that's the that's the classical simple example what i gave you mm-hmm. the mobility mm-hmm. is the movement therapy right i i i would say that he, i wouldn't always consider giving it a fancy name right but uh, in the medical term because uh, being a person who is working with athletes i always like to be layman right layman is is a very good way to make the person understand mm-hmm. everyone understanding what it is so yeah movement therapy in our terms if i say in the medical terms is one of the best thing because it teaches you the basic things of mobility right. and that's right. what we follow if i consider a normal person staying next to me who is at the age of 50 or 60 or maybe my parents or your parents i wouldn't consider them going to the gym and working out right. i wouldn't telling them ki you do x y z things ki aapko morning mein swimming hi karna hai aapko evening mein running karna hai no no why why is the need of that It's as simple mm-hmm. as that. First, they need to understand: Do they have a liking towards sports? If a person is liking a sport, he should follow the passion for it. Mm-hmm. Many, many of people, like my dad himself, he likes to walk, or he likes to play a sport. He would do that. He wouldn't go on. I wouldn't consider him going to the gym. That's not needed. Mm-hmm. And some, I would say that if people are genuinely into more of advanced things, like our age group people. who want to genuinely get into fitness so there are various types there is pilates there is rehab there is prehab there are so many things which just come into sport you have to do weight training also you have to do even for that instance you have to go cardio so as per the different age group you can modify the done the game game for them okay. in that person to for the lighting i know you deal with a uh, a lot of cricketers and you deal with a yeah. lot of uh kabaddi players how do you carry on or how do you uh, prepare their protocol how do you prepare their routine so basically before any player comes to us 
we have an assessment sheet which we have made a program of nine skip fitness which is my company so nine skip to all the physios under nine skip they follow one routine and that's they have a set program for assessing the client so that program is where we just go on we assess the whole body mm -hmm. so after the assessment we would go on for further investigations if needed if not it's just like we start uh, giving them a routine exercise program mm -hmm. and in in my experience, I always start with the small muscle groups and not the big muscle groups, because the bigger muscle groups are very easy to train. Right. But the smaller muscle groups are where I would start working because it takes time. It's not you haven't hit the muscle at all. So for for that instance, I always go on for the small muscle groups. I always start with the short liver exercises mm -hmm. and then go on for the long liver exercises. Makes sense. Can you give us some examples? Uh, I would say that for if, if we go on for a postural training, mm -hmm. if we have, if we see a person with some postural defects, many, many people don't exactly know that the, the rhomboids are to be worked on. They always have a feeling like many of us have seen the players and all do a very heavy lat, lats workout or they are doing a lot heavier of, I would say, all the back workouts mm -hmm. and all that. But not specific to maybe a simple exercise like IYT. Mm -hmm. IYT is a very basic exercise to teach anyone. But an athlete always feels that ki, why should I do a simple exercise when I'm doing a 100 kg row? Why should I be doing an IYT? Is where they don't understand that that's the simple small muscle which you haven't targeted till now. Right. You have to target the small muscle. May it be the rhomboids, may it be the... Uh, I would say the mid trapezius, the lower trapezius, all these muscles are the key, I would say, for your posture. And when I say that, it's always your posture and also all attributing factors towards your game. Because that way your force is coming. Your upper body, your neck and all injuries are they reduced to 80% when you are targeting these small muscle groups in that. Correct. Like you said, because they haven't been touched, so they are not trained. They haven't been, yeah. And I, I would say the importance of physiotherapy is here. It lies here because uh, if you are working with a new person, a new athlete comes to you, you have a scope of doing everything with him. Right. He's just coming to you and he would like you to help him out because it's very new and fresh and new to the sport. Mm -hmm. But basically, I would say if the athlete is experienced, like the funniest would be you ever working with a state level or national level athletes, which I have right now in the live also. So I know these people are very fit. Like I would just go on for a little Hindi in between because yeah, yeah obviously we have all that mixed uh, crowd. <laughs> but ye log heavy uthayenge. Ye bolenge, sir, I to pull up, I to 10, 15 pull up, I to ye kar lunga. I will do dips to mar lunga, sir. I will push up dip mar lunga. Main ye kar lunga. But then again, coming to the thing that I will do it, I will do it. I will do it. Then I am into that. Very simple is that. Mm -hmm. And the funniest is you working with an SNC at this point of time. The, mm -hmm. the thing of a physio in sports is physio and SNC working hand in hand. Right. So that is where the key comes. And luckily, we have a good SNC in Pro Kabaddi. We have a good SNC in my cricket academy, in the other academies where I work. So we sit and discuss about the cases. Right. And at, at that time, we understand that bigger muscle groups need to be worked out. But obviously, the activation should start with the smaller group. Right. should always be the smaller muscle groups where you need to activate first. And then you can head on for the bigger exercises. So now the program what we make for any athlete always start with activations mm -hmm. how much so, do you yeah. think the core and the back muscles activation is important because yeah. even if it's the healthiest the core and the back is all <laughs> the weaker yeah. so how much do you think like that activation plays a role core activation is the most important right. i would say it is the most important because the core is obviously a bracing to your spine. 
it mm-hmm. goes from the front to your back so core activation is what i consider the whole activation of your spine it starts from the abdominis to your spinal muscles mm-hmm. all of those and it's very important because once you start bracing your core then you won't land up into any kind of injuries right any kind of injuries like i have seen that i have seen so many of our athletes never faced a back issue because they always have a tendency to start with an activating core exercise right. and it's very very simple to activate your core it's not even difficult like you just lie down on your back you just lift your leg up hold it to 90 90 tabletop position and just activate it you just need to have that compression and relaxation technique for it and if you can do that then it's activated already the right. people who do it every single day they have a very healthy lifestyle right so core True. activation the, is very important the more you hold the planks the healthier you tend to stay exactly so that that's what see again in this i would say uh planks are going to be a further program for these people okay. planks are not going to be the initial activation program planks are never the activation activation is very simple it's very simple co contraction of your muscle isometric contraction of your muscle it's that mm. it's never a a very a weirdly kind of exercise or something which a athlete would be like ki are ye karna padega kya it's not that it's like a very simple basic exercise which you give an athlete and then when he practices it over time then you start going on to a little heavier version of that you would be like ki ha abhi thoda sa isko change karenge abhi thoda sa isko aur modify karenge karne ke liye right but in that in that instance it is important for everyone not only an athlete it's important for every single individual at least yes we in that way we all face back issues we will everyone, not be facing everyone right and and basically basically because indians are uh, the god has been not so good with us with the physique so the pear shape body which has been given to us <laughs> as compared to south africans if i say so in that thing if you want to be fit if you want to keep that tummy tuck position in a good way right. you have to do an exercise which is for the core and it helps it helps like you do it for two weeks also and you are happy to go with that i feel is that continuity would come after that how much do you think the balance i know you have been known as the guru of balance <laughs> so how much do you think the balance plays a role in uh, all of the training i think yes it does play a vital role balance is very important and balance is the key to your core strengthening also because yeah. so the more you do challenging balancing exercises the more you are going to be training your core right. because the whole chain is activated in that thing and then once your balance is proper your body movements are very faster so what i i i do a lot of balance training for my athletes and it has worked a lot for me like very simple i would suggest if you can do normal drills of jumping like they do side to side running they do side to side jumping and all of those if you train them with a proper balance board it's single leg balance you just train them with a single leg balance board you do the ball throws at them you train them every day so with the bosu ball you just train them to jump off the bosu as quick as possible and come back on the bosu even if their body understands this changes immediate changes in the body the core is engaged all the time and because of that when they are actually in the game when they are in the game they tend to give i would say 10 more 10 times more pressure than normally what they can right so balance does act a vital role in that whole treatment program right it's a it's a it's a need of that r i would say balance is what you need to add up when you are strengthening i i always say that balance should be considered in a strengthening program routine only it shouldn't be considered separate the problem what happens with us is ki balance bhul jate hain log bahut log bhul jate hain to bhul isliye jate hain because balance is never considered into the strengthening it is always considered separate ki proprioception is baad mein pehle aayega mobility uske baad aayega strengthening uske baad proprioception pe kaam karenge 
and we will work on the release and all that. Why is that? It has to be considered here. Make only two. So in my program, what I follow for ACL and all that, there are only two stages. Ek hai uska mobility bada, dusra hai uska strength bada. Mobility mein it comes to a point to increase the mobility, you will work on the muscle releases. You will work on the flexibility of the muscle. You will work on the joint mobility. And strengthening mein it comes everything. So strengthening is like strengthening of the muscle, activation of the muscle, improving the proprioception of the joint, everything in that. And proprioception, see, a uh, very simple thing, post an ACL, post PCL, MCL, any joint, if you are going to load the joint with the weights, it improves the proprioception by twice yeah. than what it is. Correct. So loading, I mean, loading to you are doing it, you are doing it, you True. So conceptually, it changes, yeah. I myself do the same thing i'll train if i have a program and the patient comes to me thrice a week mm -hmm. i'll do two days of uh, uh, strength training flexibility range of motion pain reduction mm -hmm. and then finally the third day i'll keep it as a separate yeah. for balance for perception a few agility drills but yeah i do consider it separate i mm -hmm. never thought of combining it with strength which can actually exactly be better true see uh the concept of i would say this is where it changes in sports and orthopedic physiotherapy right the biggest difference is you have the client with you for five sessions yes every physio who has a clinical setup would have a client for five five settings six settings maybe ten settings you count it as that right we have the client for six months mm -hmm. in a tour true so, वो कैसे होता है ना कि six settings में तो you can show all the creativity of the world <laughs> कि मैं ये भी कर लूँगा मैं वो भी कर लूँगा I am this I am master in this that छः महीने में क्या करोगे <laughs> कितना creativity बताओगे आप <laughs> so that is where all of these factors what I say have to be put one and one <laughs> कि हाँ every single day आप अगर loading कर रहे हो so the changes happen there and there itself. The loading, when you're doing for the proper reception, you change it to the BOSU. You right. turn on the, you turn the BOSU to the opposite side. You train him with the weights. You put the increase, keeps increasing the weights. You shift to multi-directional exercises. Right. You do the resistant band running. You do the other types of, we, see, we do the parachute running and all of that. So there are various factors in sports. Right. That is why I I always consider sports is not a small thing to do and you should never come half uh, heartedly or half with the mindset ki abhi main seekunga sports mein ke. There are uh, the biggest mistake which I have seen and as, as a sports physio which should I have never done it right. but there are a lot of sports physios nowadays they just come into the field of sports they just like want to be a sports physio but haven't learned what exactly sports is and the moment they land up with an athlete then they are screwed because they don't exactly know what it is very simple an athlete i'll give you an example if you go on for release of the ql for an athlete mm -hmm. the ql can be released in different ways yes but the mentality of the athlete is what you need to be thinking of ki isko kaise pasand hai isko kya chahiye because agar 6 mahine aapko athlete ke sath bitane hai then you need to understand in and out of the athlete. And if at that point you screw up, then you're sent home. And there is, the career goes down right. completely. Right. So that, that's why I always prefer you, like, learn first ki how it is, how the sports works, how are the treatments. There are so many good uh, physios, which I also have been following in the past many years. I have, like, done my observerships maybe not observership learned like where i was working in kokilaban i have worked with them i got an opportunity to work with the biggest physios in india so learning was the key at that point and all of this has come through that only all of the learning because book to some extent can't be working forever yeah. yes book is very different book knowledge and practical knowledge is completely different you cannot Put that book knowledge there. <laughs> yeah. I, I have not used, I mean, definitely I've used the basic concepts that I studied in theory. 
but I never used or I couldn't even connect the same book knowledge with an actual patient. You can never do that. No. You can never do that. Yeah. I always say that send any other physio to my pro kabaddi league or to kabaddi league or treat karke dikha mere bachchon ko <laughs> i'll be i'll be very happy seeing that we will have seen that the players the mentality of the players the mentality of the physios in kabaddi it's mm-hmm. very sharp like i literally uh, i i literally uh, like have a thing for the people working in wrestling the people who are working in kabaddi and all of that exactly the people who are working in north side mm-hmm. the athletes of the north side because it is a very big challenge for us he my knowledge has taught me ki ha acl ka itna karna hai my knowledge has taught me ki okay abhi slap tear ho gaya to itna karna hai these athletes are next level inko wo acl wagera to pak chhod hi do wo hota hi nahi hai par unko fitness mein when the person is 80% fit and you have to get him from that 80 to 100 is where you challenge it where the individual needs to be excited also about doing something new and he has to be engaged with you also and right. there the psychological factor of your mental well being targeting his mental well being is the most important so yahan pe i always consider that's why i told you that i have even learned psychology is because of the sport psychology acts here because you need to understand ki what the athlete exactly needs from you right sir talking about psychology and about uh, your uh, all the things that you have learned and you have based off of your company can you tell us more about uh, nine space nine space escape nine escape fitness nine escape fitness yeah. nine escape yeah. can you so tell so basically nine escape fitness uh, i have like founded it in a way so it's it's for an individual which mm-hmm. you can get every single thing at a point so nine scape fitness is nine things what we offer is that's why we have kept it nine scape and scape is the landscape like the whole landscape for you mm-hmm. so different things nine different things what we offer so it starts with prehab and rehab mm-hmm. first it start with snc and performance training so both are done by a uh, trainers who are like into the performance field then comes into we have a sports masters we have a psychologist we have a sports nutritionist and we have a pilates trainer we have a yoga trainer so all of these things combined is what nine scape is so nine scape is one place which i have found out that is most important for an athlete is athlete hai ya fir individual hai in bombay we have a lot of people who like to play cricket so right. cricket may be there are so many factors ki ha aapko mentally bhi toughness chahiye mm-hmm. aapko nutrition bhi chahiye so why to run at different places when i can offer you everything under one roof mm-hmm. so when we have an assessment with an athlete or when we have an assessment with any individual here in bombay and pune we are working in both two cities right now so what we do is we ideally go to them first we understand what exactly the need is and accordingly then we give them a program of nutrition if needed psychology if needed fir physio chal raha hai unka training chal raha hai so everything under one roof i generally uh, i would say that's worked really well because then that wasn't there the concept of everything together is not there yes it's either fir ek physio ke paas jana padta hai aur uske baad fir are fir psychologist alag dhoondo nutrition ke liye koi to aur dhoondo so we are giving everything under one roof and soon obviously soon uh, i guess in next two years we would have a setup also where i'll get everything together under one roof in a setup so that would be for the people to like understand and come and see it i have never okay. heard anything like that especially coming from india that's really an amazing initiative and yeah. it's going help so much it's going to help an individual and athlete so so much we we i think it's it's come with the experience only of working into the field of understanding what an athlete needs right how much do you think like we were talking about psychology a few minutes back how much do you think men- mental hit, uh, mental fitness for an athlete plays role like uh, i would say before before a game if the game is tomorrow 
today the mental fitness would be playing at, at least i would say 50% role okay. because yeah because the the so there are few players who keep thinking about the game right if the game is tomorrow they will always keep thinking what should be done what should i do the opposition are these these players so what should i keep doing about this and that and all and that is where the psychologist comes into play mm-hmm. that is where the psychologist who should talk to them as uh, me as the physio but me as the complete medical person for the team i always have a point of just chatting with them yeah. okay, okay what's your thoughts in that kya karna hai tujhe kal kya soch ke utarne wala hai mm-hmm. yaar are there any things any specific thing which you need any specific like maybe many cricketers have a thing ki ye bat se hi khelunga main kal main mm-hmm. i wouldn't change my bat i will play with this bat on mm-hmm. or i'll have this kind of a feeling for this player or all, all of that so it is not exactly about making them understand something but it's about listening from them they mm-hmm. want to give it out they want to ment it out ki ha ye 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 karna hai and they are very happy with it if they ment out then they go sleep peacefully after that they are fresh for the day but if that doesn't happen i have seen that overnight they just keep thinking 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 and that doesn't come out right. still so in that factor it's it's all about ki yes you have to be there you have to sit with them and understand there is a very uh, amazon prime pe there was a, a series named sons of joy where it was shot in season 6 of jaipur pink panthers where i was the head physio at that time also right so in this that there was a very funny scene of a south korean player sitting with me in the mm-hmm. physio room uh with other players and they are just chatting about ki uh like 40 minutes ka to game hai 40 minutes mein ye karna hai wo karna hai aise karna hai waise karna hai main ye pehle ye karunga right so all of those chips like what they do in the physio room is the ultimate thing like yahi hota hai in the physio room a uh, uh, sports physio any physio needs to understand ki psychological factor is very important for a player and you need to have the capacity to listen to it and explain them if it's wrong ki agar he feels that ki ye karna hai nahi karna hai he wouldn't go to the coach the coach is the maximum thing what he would reach he will never reach the coach to ask anything he would always have the small talks with you ki i want to do this i want to do that so i feel it is very very important that brings so me to interesting question are there secret huddles and secret huddles mein kya baat hoti hai <laughs> yeah there are there always before a game yeah <laughs> i would say uh, uh always before a game uh, we have i guess i would just say thank you to surgeon i just saw him like he is a good friend and a client to me is one of the best person i have met and he is a cricketer again <laughs> so uh, uh secret hurdles i would say changes yeah always with all the okay. games it keeps changing so but uh, the funniest is when the secret hurdles are like ki aaj to baja kya ho chhod do yaar baaki sa aaj to baja nahi hai like all all different funny ways they just have to have a thing and it is in all the games i wouldn't say that any game has lacked with the secret hurdles thing but wo hota hi hai ki isko todna hi hai aaj isko ye karna hai isko wo karna hai kind of and in india specifically i would say that ki without a bad word it never starts true <laughs> so yeah the the minty words have to be always there before true. in the secret hurdle ki karna hai that is where they get charged up. yeah and that is that's where it all starts that's the mind yeah, so basically uh to i would say that ki secret hurdles mein jaise we have seen a lot of people right uh who genuinely uh in the rugby sport if you see yeah. they have a uh, different tribal dances they have that different tribal things in them that they want to do this and they want to do that in india it's still not there mm-hmm. it's just a very simple where the coach is giving them examples of what to be done and what not to be and that's where the hurdle ends <laughs> okay yeah. so you don't want to say anything yeah ah huh? 
many less bosses who are at that level who come and watch the game who talk to the players and the way he talks to the player is very nice i wouldn't ever say par uska baat karne ka tarika bhi ye hai aaj to jo bhi ho jaye jaise bhi ho tum log khel ke aao jeet ke nahi aaye but kisi ko injury nahi chahiye mujhe jo bhi karna hai theek se khel ke aao like he always has that thing towards the players ki ha जो भी है खेलो जीतो इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द गेम ऑब्वियसली ही वांट्स देम टू विन ही ऑलवेज वांट्स देम टू विन बट ही डजंट वांट एनी क्रिटिकल इंजरीज और ही डजंट वांट एनी वन अपसेटेड और समथिंग आफ्टर द गेम बट या इट ही आल्सो हैज अ थिंग दैट द प्लेयर्स शुड अंडरस्टैंड कि जो हम करने वाले हैं वो पहले डिस्कस करके जाओ सो हाफ द टाइम इट इज ऑलवेज दैट कि वो होता ही है कि हर्डल में हो ही जाता है कि तू इसको पकड़ मैं इसको पकडूंगा फिर हम ऐसे करेंगे फिर वैसे करेंगे ऐसे होता है And and I, I always have that funny thing with them because I am sitting in the dugout wherever it is I am sitting in the dugout so sir, as I make a player, they feel that he he to have or half the times it is me also who has something or the other spilled in it. He ah maybe he will do this in the end. I'll scream at this point of time. I'll do this point of time. As it is running, so they are also like he. You are also. Yes, I am. What are you doing? So yeah, many nice, funny things. Um. Abhishek Bachchan is one of the kindest person, and yeah. it it shows on social media. It shows, and him saying and caring about his players more than the match says it all. Yeah, yeah, he he does, he does, and I've seen it. Like that is the that is the thing which I haven't left the franchise till now. The franchise where I have started pro kabaddi is the same, and obviously one thing I would say that he it's also your work mm-hmm. because what I have. I have heard before that he there was no other physio who had survived for so many years in Jaipur. All the physios right. who came in Jaipur were replaced by some other physios. Mm-hmm. But when I joined Jaipur Pink Panthers, I joined as an assistant physio. Mm-hmm. I never joined as a senior physio. I joined as an assistant physio there. But in the first league itself, I was promoted as a senior physio of the mm-hmm. team, and I was like from the next year onwards, obviously the head physio of the team. Right. so it's all about your work and work is not to be shown to anyone you just mm-hmm. keep doing your work it is shown to everyone as it is you just need to keep working hard mm-hmm. and see it's all about the matter of point ki aap uh, players ko kitna aap help kar rahe ho ya unko help karke aap kitna wo khel rahe hai it's very important right. so last year we made a record like jaipur pink panthers team made a record of uh, we had zero injuries like we did have injuries in the team but right. none of our players sat out for any mm-hmm. game all the players played the whole league and which is very uh, i would say which is very difficult in the field of kabaddi ki sare players injure hoke bahar jate hai half the players are out because of injuries and all but jaipur was the only team which like there till the last and this was appreciated very well right. so i would also consider last season's physio joel who was with me he also did a very good job mm-hmm. so he was assisting me for the whole league and he also was looking after three or four players also yeah. one one more thing i i saw mayank saying that uh, mayank one of my very well known person he just said that breaking down their ego to adopt the new practices yeah, yeah. so this is a very 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 good thing what mayank said he every every physio or every trainer or any anyone in this field of medical should mm-hmm. always keep their egos aside if someone is teaching them something new concept because i feel so in this field there is nothing which everyone can learn mm-hmm. there, there are every single day there is a new technique which is coming up there is a new thing which is coming up right. and at this point of time you should at least have the thing of understanding it ki kya hai 
एक्सेप्टेंस करना है कि नहीं है वो तुम पे बट यू कैन नॉट ऑलवेज बी लाइक कि नहीं इससे तो मैं बेटर हूँ इससे तो मैं बेटर हूँ अगर आप वो करने जाओगे तो फिर नो वन यू आर नेवर द बेस्ट पर्सन यू शुड ऑलवेज हैव द थिंग ऑफ कीपिंग एन ईगो बिकॉज टूडे यू हैव लर्न समथिंग यू हैव यू हैव ट्रेवल्ड अब्रॉड यू हैव स्पेंट योर डेज लर्निंग समथिंग न्यू यू माइट हैव समथिंग टू टेल मी कि अरे सर ये ऐसे करेंगे तो हो सकता है दिस इज द ईजियर वे ऑफ डूइंग इट आई कैन लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम यू so always keep your egos away and that's what i think so has also helped me a lot that i have never been into a consideration ki koi junior bhi aake mujhe bolega ki sir aise karenge to chalega kya and always have a thing of listening to it all my yeah. physios know it ki mera listening skills are very good like if someone wants to tell me something so i always have have a thing of listening and understanding them if it it is genuinely good then i accept it if it's not then i explain them नहीं ये ऐसे नहीं कर सकते सो यारीप योगीन बहुत बड़ा ट्राइंगल है इन दिस फील्ड इट्स नॉट ओनली स्पोर्ट्स बट इट इज फॉर द नॉर्मल पीपल ऑल्सो वेन यू आर ट्रेनिंग इंडिविजुअल आफ्टर अ सर्जरी it is a big triangle where the orthopedic is connecting with you you are connecting with the trainer what to be done later and the trainer again with the orthopedic and right. so so that is where all three have to keep their egos down and yeah i think so that is one of the key things which i would say would make you the best physio like we are talking about you you are absolutely right we are talking about like upping our uh, uh, um being up to date on technology on yeah. research we learned so much about swd we we i remember <laughs> studying paragraphs i remember studying ultrasound and now yeah. wd i don't think it's even practiced anymore it's even in existence so we are such a revolving um, you yeah. know in medicine that we have to be up to date we have to learn from surgeons and from doctors from people in the same field and we have to pass on the same knowledge to others exactly that is very important and you should always have uh, i would say work with the orthopedic not under the orthopedic is what mm-hmm. i always say it's it's always the orthopedic even if he is the senior most person in your team mm-hmm. even he is the greatest orthopedic like i have been working with dr dinsha padiwala i've got the uh like a very good path into it working with him yeah. and it's been a pleasure working with him because he's considered as one of the best in india and abroad i would say yeah. whenever any acl or any sports surgeries happen it's under him in india but the only way i have like that person has always kept me in a good way i would say in a good way as in he has always uh, had a thing towards me that ki okay now antariksh will take over yeah. he never had a thing ki now i'll give a program which antariksh will follow is like yeah. he has that confidence obviously it took time for him to get that confidence i worked with him got many cases done in a right way and got early rehabilitations done into that helping the players out and all of that so he has a trust point towards me but saying that the trust point is also in that sense ki he trust me so much that he wouldn't consider ki okay uh, now i would give something from my side he always knows that ki antariksh knows what to be done now. so right. wo ek aapka jab ho jata hai that wavelength that only comes with experience like you are working in this field very hard and you know what you are doing into this so always have that thing ki make yourself a different identity don't just keep yourself as physio like वो मैं आई आई लिटरली हैव थिंक आई डोंट लाइक टू टॉक टू सच फिजर्स आल्सो समटाइम्स आई एम लाइक मैं बात करके करूं क्या इफ यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू कंसीडर मी एज अ नॉर्मल फिजियो व्हिच आई एम नॉट बिकॉज़ आई एम डूइंग समथिंग डिफरेंट व्हिच आई वांट टू तो एवरीवन हैज देयर ओन थिंग या यू जस्ट नीड टू लाइक गेट इट राइट यू डू मुंडो वो क्या है एंड रिस्पेक्ट गोस अ लॉन्ग वे टू गोस अ लॉन्ग वे या it does respect comes when you give it and it doesn't easily go back it is always there are there any misconceptions that you do you have heard 
in practicing for so many years be it about sports be it about physical therapy athletic training i would say athletic training yes the biggest misconception is if you exercise you build muscles your muscle grows faster or uh, the, the biggest misconception is ki uh, if i do some, some workout will this be pumped up so much that ki it looks bigger than normal or something like that right yeah this is the biggest misconception which i have heard or and i feel so ki yeah this has to be sorted out with the physio only like the working physio who is there has to make them understand it very well that there is a big thing of muscle toning and muscle strengthening right. growth right this is completely different so what physios do is always with strengthening but not with the growth of the muscle it's always with the toning of the muscle some yes some physios work on strengthening heavy programs and all which we do later on but initially it's all about the toning yeah and the second misconception still in india is ki agar हमने आई एफ टी और टेंस लगाया तो पेन कम हो जाएगा <laughs> और एक्सरसाइज बाद में करना है तो ये मिसकंसेप्शन तो आई थिंक सो विद टाइम ओनली इट विल सब्सक्राइब इट विल टेक अ लिटिल मोर वाइल बिकॉज सी एंड आई आई वुड से दैट कि अभी जाके नाउ वी हैव सो मेनी फिजियोज विच आर कमिंग अप विथ द न्यू टेक्निक्स हु आर लर्निंग न्यू टेक्निक्स सो दीज आर दिजोज हु आर गोइंग टू चेंज इट I cannot be sitting at a place and telling hundreds or thousands of physios ki ye mat karna. Wo jo naye cultural physios nikal rahe who are learning from the best physios and they only would change this trend. Like you are there, you are changing a trend at your place. You know this is not the thing. Same as you, there would be many more physios who would go at different places and yeah, they would be like ki ye nahi karna hai. This is not the thing. We do it. for my patients they all know this this was a set trend because like it's it's said by physios it's our studies mm-hmm. it's our practice that yeah. said that set the trend so here it's more like a uh, tense stimulation we call it e stim electrical stimulation yeah. so we put yeah. the e stim it could be i c or tense but they will be like oh i don't want to do exercise because exercise causes more pain or it causes more soreness but they don't understand there's a difference yeah that that soreness and pain is good my patient <laughs> all of my patients know i will make them work out scott's lunges hona hi hai any session exactly. even if exactly. don't do heavy loading don't add weights don't do anything but we have to do squats we have to do lunges and yeah. they all know i love friday because friday is the day i will make them sweat i'll make them run with weights i'll make them jump hop because saturday sunday they get a break yeah. so they can rest they can heal they can have exactly. food. so they all know that i will make them work out even if they sit they cry they go back they have done it they leave me they're like oh we both exercise karwati hai and then after a month the other physios spoil their cases and they're back to me i'm very confident they have to come back to me not a single no, that, patient of mine that, has left me due to one of them did because she changed location and she just moved from that place other than that not a single patient has left me super no that's that's what the thing is you should trust yourself true You should never be into that phase. Ki nahi, मतलब कहीं और मत जाना. You should never resist a patient. The first rule what we follow is never resist a patient. Just do your best. What you know that कि इससे ऊपर तो कोई कर ही नहीं सकता. तो वैसे ही you have to always do. And secondly, sometimes some people I have heard many of them saying bad about the colleges also which you have learned. Like you and me have learned from the same college. Right. अब डीवाई में तभी आई एफ टी अल्ट्रासाउंड टेंस आई एफ इंफ्रा रेड था समर अदर वे वट वी हैव लर्न बट टू बी वेरी फ्रैंक आई वुड एंड कंसिडर माई कॉलेज टू बी बैड अबाउट दिस थिंग बिकॉज यू शुड ऑलवेज ऑल्सो सी की द काइंड ऑफ पेशेंट्स वॉट वी यूज टू सी एट दैट टाइम विच यूज टू कम टू द हॉस्पिटल 
दे ऑलवेज हैड अ माइंड सेट ऑफ देर ओन की हम अगर पैसे भर रहे तो हमें कुछ तो इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रीटमेंट चाहिए ही चाहिए कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज कैन बी टॉट टू अ पर्सन हु नोज वॉट इट इज यू न्यू टू एजुकेट दो पीपल you cannot educate the people who are coming to the government hospital at one go it takes time you have to keep telling them ki why you are doing exercise what is the concept of it then only you can train but in dy patil as you and me know that because it's it's for learning basically yes. they have a full fledge opd and that's only because they want us to keep operating different things and all of that But you cannot be like कि इनको हमको exercise क्यों नहीं सिखाया that time या yeah, why didn't they teach us that they didn't even teach us theravan exercises like yeah. not even theravan not even what is theravan क्या different resistance होता है या क्या होता है so I would only say to the newcomers who are into this field that no one is going to teach you anything उठो खुद निकलो बाहर YouTube है uh, new new I would say Josh P T here to learn new thing in the field, and there are so many new articles coming up every single day, which are going to teach you something or the other. Or bahar niklo, stop. My biggest thing is ki bahar niklo or karo. Right. One building has at least one thousand people staying. Why the fuck can't you just go and teach ten people some yeah. different things which are which you are going to learn and which they are going to learn, and then you would understand where you are going. wrong with it right. there is nothing wrong, wrong to teach someone true i remember i started i was so lucky talking about like utho khud ko sikhana you are the one you are your own teacher i remember yeah. i was blessed with good seniors above me so i i know uh, toral bhanushali she was mm-hmm. i don't remember if she was your batch or your junior but uh, she was very junior i and maybe junior i came across a few seniors mm-hmm. and du- during clinical second year this okay. is second year and i told her wow you know I-, i was so excited and then she's like you know i after college hours i go to this opd and i practice so you just want to come hang around and i was like okay yeah it just sounds cool because i mean my second year just started i'm yeah. like oh, patient yeah. patient dekhne milenge but uh, everyone all of my friends are like why you're just in second year we don't do it until internship that just, <laughs> just patient care patient education me having the patience to deal with them emotionally yeah. and just being there has helped me here because here i see patients on such a vast band that they're sitting and we don't come from not all of us come from the same culture so i have to literally sit down with them and understand where they are coming from and they come from very different thought process but i'm yeah. the physio i have to sit down calmly just listen to them i have had other pts throw their patients away to me saying we can't handle this and those patients i'm like why because just because they have few questions like and that's all they're scared they have a few questions be calm listen to them and just answer and those patients have never left me never so exactly from like oh uh, just exposing yourself just talking to seniors teachers and true dy has been we don't re- we I myself didn't realize how much of an exposure we were getting. OPD, ICU, NICU, neuro, surgery, ortho, gyna. Never. I have never had such a vast experience. Exactly. Even in exactly. We we don't have any more rotations. We don't have such a vast exposure. We stick to one field, and it's it's good. We specialize. We're experts in those field, but. that was something else that really <laughs> us that gave us so much of confidence yeah yeah so that's definitely one of the biggest factor and you can never consider your college knowledge with what you are going to do in near future True. i can never blame college for not teaching me sports how can they teach me sports when it's all everyday learning for me right right so that's never happening and yeah The biggest question what any newcomer would be like is sir kahi bhi jayenge experience mangte hai mm-hmm. this, this is the biggest question ki 
एनीवेयर लाइक एनी न्यू कमर कमिंग टू मी इज ऑलवेज लाइक कि सर एक्सपीरियंस मांगते पर एक्सपीरियंस कोई देता नहीं है हम्म यस तो आई तो ऑलवेज हैव अ थिंग इन माय ओन सो आई एम अ वेरी कूल फिजियो नॉर्मली माय फिजियोस नो मी वेरी वेल बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू दिस थिंग्स कि या व्हेन इट कम्स टू दिस थिंग्स तो फिर मैं ऐसे आ जाता हूं मेरे इस पे नॉर्मल मैंने I have a very clear funda ki agar free mein kaam nahi kar sakte ho at this age and at this point of time you fucking want money to work for something then how are you going to get exposure true you will only be paid for what you are is as mm-hmm. simple as that today people the physios are paid heavily because they deserve it because they have like work their ass out for the last so many years learning something or the other yeah. and i have a very simple funda age is not yeah. the thing yes. age is never a thing ki experience ke liye age chahiye ha there are many experienced physios which i respect of and they have i would say they have age till the time which i came on to but yeah obviously at my time they would be the there would be at the same level so yeah. experience is what you need to gain yeah. i I had a I had a CV when I came to Kokila. My CV was fake. Did it? Yeah. Ashish sir, Ashish Koshik, the best physio in India at that time because the he was the BCCI head physio. So you can understand that which one physio had interviewed him. Yeah. So cricket ke sabse bade physio ne interview liya. Unhone CV fake diya tha mera. Unhone dekha bhi nahi tha. Tabi. Because they Kokila had a thing of not taking like immediately after your masters you cannot do. Come into Kokila. You need experience of it. Mm-hmm. Then we had one South African physio with us at that point of time. He literally picked that CV up again. Mm-hmm. He picked up the CV. He is like, "Ki okay, now let me check kya kya kya." And then he understood that this guy has already done a lot during my masters. Right. So at that point of time, when I was doing my masters, Vijay Kumar sir, whom you must be knowing, Vijay yes. sir, he was there at that point of time. and with him like i used to get a lot of tournaments on myself like ki main samne se leke aata tha to kokila ben ki i want to do this i want to do that and doing that i had a good experience of sports so during my masters only an experience of i would say five national games when i was doing doing my masters and that was all learning right. like i wouldn't consider it ki maine khud ja ke kiya or something any yeah. game coming to pune balewadi i was there any game kuch bhi aap le lo aap rifle shooting lo aap football lo kuch bhi lo i was always there to help them out yeah. so that gave me a, a good learning phase of understanding understanding what the physios were doing on the field and all of that so at that point of time me being from pune and me having a good like family background in pune and all i left my ego aside i was never into that thing ki nahi yaar main kyu karu free mein yeah. i was always in that लर्निंग फेज सो एवरी वन शुड बी इन दैट फेज की जो आपको दिख रहा है जिसके अंडर आप सीख रहे हो एवरी फेज डिफरेंट माई टेक्निक ऑफ टेपिंग एंड योर टेक्निक ऑफ टेपिंग वुड बी डिफरेंट नो वन कैन से दैट की ये गलत है या ये अच्छा है द प्लेयर योर टेपिंग ही कैन ओनली से ये गलत है ये अच्छा है आई ऑलवेज से दैट की वो कोई ऐसा नहीं बोल सकता है because i have seen the best masters in taping who are teaching taping workshops and all nowadays many of them agar wo bhi kisi player ko tape karenge to he wouldn't be com- comfortable but wo jo physio uske sath pichle 5 saal se wo tape karega na galat bhi galat but he would be comfortable yeah so it has to be you the comfort of the player to wo seekhne ke liye you have to get that experience baki to aap sab sab seekh loge courses karke तो वो मेन चीज होता है दैट लर्न हाउ टू बी विद द प्लेयर एंड ट्रीट द प्लेयर सो हैव ऑलवेज हैव एन ओपन ओपन माइंडसेट ऑफ लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स गो डू योर फ्री वर्कशॉप एंड दैट इज व्हाई आई वाज हायर्ड इन कोकिला बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस थिंग बिकॉज़ माय सीवी वाज 5 पेजेस आफ्टर माय मास्टर्स हु सीवी इज गोइंग टू बी 5 पेजेस द मैक्सिमम सीवी व्हाट आई हैव सीन इज आई हैव आई हैव Played badminton in my college level. Yeah. I have played this in my this. I have been the GS of the college or something. Yeah. So keep that away. Like I always have keep that away, bro. Where is your CV? I want to see your CV. I don't, bro. Fucking want to see what you have done in your. 
वो तो मैं चार पांच साल से तो मैं बैडमिंटन खुद जीता हूँ डीवे में आज तक किसी ने हारा है नहीं तो मैं वो लिख के थोड़ी घूम सकता हूँ What are a few words of encouragement, like when your teammates are down, when your team is mm-hmm. down? Well, how do you encourage them? Like you said, you work with them for six months. It's very difficult to keep their spirits up, to practice yeah. for the pre-game, you know, before and after. How how do you try to keep that up? See, that's that's where that's where my initial assessment comes, which I told you. so initial assessment what i say is about the mental assessment also mm-hmm. ki what do you like to do in your free time what do you like to do when you are sitting alone so many of them have a thing ki uh, sir mere ko na game khelna pasand hai mere ko ye karna pasand hai mujhe inse baat karna pasand hai mujhe bahar jana pasand hai mall mein jana pasand hai so whenever my players are down whenever we are on the tour or something i always is know what they know what they want to do right. so we always keep that entertainment up for them like we go out for movies then sunday aa gaya chalo movies ke liye jayenge ya kahi to bahar ghoom ke aate hain mall mein ya aise kuch karte hain right or else if if it's just like see ideally i stop talking about the team once the day is over like i am i am kind of person who wouldn't consider playing the same sport again and again एक बार वो आपका इवनिंग सेशन खत्म हो गया स्पोर्ट का एंड यू आर बैक इनटू द फिजियो रूम आई आई नेवर टॉक टू देम अबाउट द स्पोर्ट आई ऑलवेज टॉक टू देम अबाउट कि गर्लफ्रेंड कैसी है क्या चल रहा है आजकल क्या गिफ्ट किया नहीं किया या ऐसे या घर पे मॉम डैड ठीक है या फिर बाकी और क्या चल रहा है क्या कर रहा है सो कीपिंग देयर माइंड इन डिफरेंट लेवल्स इज व्हाट आई ट्राई टू डू मेनी मेनी या एंड मेनी ऑफ द प्लेयर्स ultimately land up learning physiotherapy with me <laughs> i would say that also yeah you get every single day they see me doing something or the other they have that thing ki isse kya hota hai sir ye mere ko sikha do aap ye main bhi kar lunga and i am telling you literally uh, the funniest is when me and my physio yeah. like any of the physicists traveling with me the funniest is ki na ek mahina hum physio karte hai camp rehta hai one month ka uh-huh. one month ke baad my my players are trained themselves to do physio उनको बस इतना रहता है नहीं सर के सामने करना है बस उतना है उनका तो इसलिए एंटरटेनमेंट लेवल इज ऑलवेज लाइक दैट ओनली द होल सिक्स मंथ वी कीप ऑन डूइंग न्यू स्टफ और वी गेट न्यू थिंग्स फॉर देम टू प्ले We celebrate a lot of festivals during the tour. So yeah, yeah, many many simple things I would say. I remember her page me, especially fourth year. Every answer we used to write down long answer patient education, yeah. treatment patient education. We never thought how serious that would be. And that is very serious. In practicality, when when I'm using patient education, it's it's very important. And like you said. Yeah. teach your patients or you teach your clients players to do a certain set of exercises so i have a patient she's a uh, double hip uh, surgery it's been 3 months 4 months she's hopping she's jumping she's running definitely not as much mm-hmm. but it she said it's never happened she's had three surgeries of hip and it took her one yeah. year but with me it took her 3 months and now i have shown her so much because i get bored easily like aap kitna hi squats dekh loge aap kitna hi squats kar loge so i give them variations and i have shown her so much leg workout that she says i have become a lower limb pt just teach me up and i am going to start my own setup exactly. i'm like yeah exactly <laughs> no you should always have some workout so i have i right now i would say I have thirty odd workouts which I have made on myself. Right. Like, over the time when I have learned something or the other while you are training the clients and all, I make my own uh, exercises. Yeah. So that exercises I am like trying to make it as much as possible from my behalf. Right. So right now I have thirty odd exercises which I have made on my right. own, which are depending upon the whole body chain, kinematic chain, and all that. Right. So I I 
always feel the complexity of the exercises later on is very important for an athlete for multi directional sport mm-hmm. and that, that's why i always go on to a little complex exercises later on like once he's used to the camp and once we have finished with the camp so complex exercises like maybe i'll say simple exercise box jumps so karte but box jump But- करते वक्त द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वुड बी वाइल कैचिंग अ बॉक्स वाइल कैचिंग अ बॉल और समथिंग सॉरी सो वाइल कैचिंग अ बॉल ही नीड्स टू डू द बॉक्स जंप एंड स्क्वाट डाउन और विद द रेजिस्टेंस बैंड ही हैज टू डू दैट सो ऑब्वियसली व्हेन यू ट्रेन द एथलीट्स इन अ डिफरेंट वे व्हेन दे आर कमिंग टू यू और एनी इंडिविजुअल द दे नेवर गेट बोर्ड ऑफ इट दे आर ऑलवेज हैप्पी टू डू समथिंग न्यू एंड यू नीड टू गिव देम माइलस्टोन्स ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर की आज तो अगर इतना करना ही है इतना आने तक वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज इट सो वेन दे हैव इट इन देर माइंड टू दे आर नेवर गोइंग टू बी बिहाइंड यू की चेंज करो दे नो द माई स्टोन इज दिस दिस आई वुड ऑल्सो दैट आई लव टू डू पिलाटिस लॉट आई हैव ट्रेन इन पिलाटिस माई सेल्फ एंड आई टू पिलाटिस विद अ लॉट ऑफ माई प्लेयर्स एंड इट इज रियली वर्क वेल सो दैट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द गुड फॉर्म ऑफ कोर्स स्ट्रेंदनिंग ऑफ ओवर बॉडी overall body strengthening i would say it's a very slow exercise it's a very slow progressive thing i would consider it to be but it's fun it's yeah. good so but i always the, mix pilates yeah basics of pilates is very important that's why right. i did a certification yeah. in pilates too in india but the basics was very important and i i myself like you pick up like you said you have to be your own unique physio you yeah. can't just be like thoughts you have to be like okay you're squatting but now let's do the core activation now let's do the gluteal exactly. activation you have been exactly. you have to use what education you've learned from so many degrees so true yeah that's, Sir, that's true any last last words for everyone who's starting to or who dreams about being a sports pt mm-hmm. who wants to start a career and their path uh first i would say before you opt just keep your basic anatomy completely in your mind just the basic of where your muscle is what's the origin and insertion of a muscle how are you going to treat the muscle this is the first thing second is as i said previously keep your egos out mm-hmm. and just fucking work somewhere start getting your exposure into something but okay. something me- meaningful something mean, yeah. meaningful to be very frank so i wouldn't consider you or any other physio who wants to do something in their life to go and do a marathon mm-hmm. be a physio of a marathon i wouldn't consider that because it is not going to teach you anything yeah. so i always say do something meaningful which is teaching you something mm-hmm. so don't waste your time doing 10 marathons or, because i have i have done it myself also and i have seen people doing it and i know that ki i have learned zero from it so when i know i am going to not learn anything why should i waste my time doing something which is not going to any meaningful i always consider before you opt of me going for a job you should mm-hmm. always think and learn what the job profile is exactly if you right. are an orthopedic physio you want to just, just opt for orthopedic cases you need to be very well versed with the rehabilitation programs of it and you should right. always opt for some institution which is going to be the best try from the best right. hopefully one day you reach there <laughs> and don't be scared about going to the best is what i would say you should never be scared ki me there are many people they also come to me and they'll be like ki why will kokila hire me why will hn hire me? like the best uh, ambani's why will they hire me well it's not about they hiring you or something unless and until you, you know ki how the mentor takes your interview you are never going to learn what it is to be at the best right. people often feel that ki i have worked 5 years in kokila when as the lead physio the head physio there Right. So people often feel kitna simple hoga antriks ke liye andar jana and all of this myths of people's mindset what they have but yeah. i would suggest that ki andar jana is a hard part andar ja ke rehna is the hardest part yes 
like when, when you cannot keep up yourself with the patients your hod is going to fucking screw you left and right yeah and it is very bad like uh, to not have that kind of education initially so i always feel ki i was at least in that mindset i already had worked in the field of sports to understand ki ye taping technique barabar hai ya galat hai yeah at least the manipulations what i was doing is it right or wrong the mobilizations right. are not so right. get something in that phase because no one is going to teach you mm-hmm. when you join an institution sure. so get yourself first assessed with what you are lacking in write it down every single day that you want to learn something new mm-hmm. and then go on for a job interview never just go on for a job interview and just hop with ki ha ho jayega abhi aisa nahi hota hai main khud hire nahi karta to aise to hone nahi wala aur mere se to main to aise i am just running a small uh, i would say a company now yeah. which is into fitness world but obviously my like i would also thank webo daga sir ashish koshik sir and all of these who have been the mentors for me for many years and mm-hmm. uh, these people have really taught me how to be the top physio mm-hmm. what qualities you need to be what how much knowledge you need to acquire for being at that point of time so yeah unless and until you get screwed up by these people you are never going to learn gali to khana padega गाली नहीं खाओगे तो कैसे बनने वाला है वही होता है कंफर्ट लेवल से बाहर निकलो यार कंफर्ट लेवल से जितना बाहर निकलोगे ना उतना ही यू आर गोइंग टू बी द बेस्ट सो लेट मी आई आई लर्नड अ अ थिंग इट सेज 1 2 3 जंप इफ यू आर स्केयर यू जस्ट डू 1 2 3 एंड यू जंप सो जस्ट से यस 1 2 3 एंड यस आई विल ट्राई इट या वी हैव गॉट वन क्वेश्चन I guess what's your opinion on osteo and Cairo? Mm-hmm. A very very nice question because I feel if you are already a physio, then if you are into the field of sports, you should definitely if you can you should learn chiropractic manipulation. I feel it's a it's a good point to add up your knowledge. Mm-hmm. But I would wouldn't consider only doing chiropractor. as a field because mm-hmm. then it is a field but it's it's ideally not exactly close to what we do it's right. completely different mm-hmm. so being a physio if you can do a chiropractic manipulations and all of those because i have also learned chiropractic manipulations so it's an add on to your knowledge it's never a bad thing to add on something with it so i would consider it's a very good option for you to learn it if you can mm-hmm. because if you are in india you can do multiple things if you are at her place you cannot so better be in india <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you sir that is very 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 supportive of you <laughs> i know it very well thank you <laughs> <laughs> but that's true but i also feel because i am practicing here in us i would say i don't practice hvds and i would rather have a chiro fix their whole body and their posture because they do a great job in fixing the biomechanics each joint i myself have a chiro and he fixes me it's amazing and i don't think i can ever get to a point where i'm so perfect so i love the fact that there are experts in that field but yeah coming yeah. from india with so many certifications but still giving so many licenses agree i'm learning so much new technique new research new mentors but it's it's tough it's definitely tough than india i do agree no uh, i i feel so in india see i wouldn't say only in india mm-hmm. but yeah i have few physios who are into sports in australia also right and they also had to get the chiropractic course done because in the field of sports like 6 months if i say i'm traveling with the team or maybe for a year i'm traveling with the team i don't have the option to, to get them out anywhere i don't have the option to be like ki aaj sabko ja ke chiropractor ke leke jate hai aur sabke manipulation karke lete hai yeah that's not what we have an option right. if it was for me or if it was for someone who is in bombay mm-hmm. ha i have my friends who are chiropractors 
themselves who are just into chiropractic. And I refer them a lot of clients when it comes to Bombay. But for me, I feel so. My field is such that ki I have to learn it. Because right. then ultimately landing up to think that I don't like when my knowledge is less. I don't like when I cannot do something for my player when he yeah. needs it. And that's yeah. not my thing. I get very angry when I don't know something and I would learn that. Yeah. So techniques like BFR, hai, chiropractic manipulations, aata hai, even for that instance, Maitland, McKenzie, everything. I, I practice every single treatment what is available in the world. Right. As in hijama, I don't follow hijama, but yeah, right. normal cupping and all. So I don't follow the techniques which don't give me scientific reasoning. Right. Unless and until there is a scientific reasoning, I only follow those. I don't follow others than that. Yeah. But yeah, I think sports has taught me a lot and it's going to teach me more to be coming into the learning phases. But yeah, I, I it's a good thing. I feel you when you say, I hate looking incompetent in front of the patient. Like exactly. I can never. Exactly. So even if it it's not my job to know about the insurance. That's something that, you know, the front desk or mm. the reception, mm. they, they handle it. But the clients, like the patients, they still, they're comfortable with me. So they'll come and ask me questions. Hey, what does my insurance look like? Hey, can you tell me more? I hate it. I made my front desk. She She's a sweetheart. So I made her teach me everything. I'm like, no, I need to ask for when they ask me. I can't look yeah. like Oh, ye kya kar rahi hai Is it a... <laughs> so you have to even if it's not your job, even if it's not your pride. Exactly. Yes. Agreed. So thank you so 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 much. It was so talking to another GS after so long. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. It was definitely fun. It was so much fun. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing future career. I know you will. I mean, yeah. you are, but I, you will, you'll have so much more. And I hope to see you down the line very soon. For sure. Please very soon. No, if you come here in New York, I we need to do next year. Yeah. We'll, we'll surely catch up. Done. Done. I'll see you. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank have Take care. Lots of love. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to our talk about health. You can follow me on Instagram at pavna.devnani, on Facebook at pavna.devnani, and we'll leave all the information in the description below. Thank you.